I'm just trying to record this. Okay, fine. So once you are uh, once you register for the course, you will get a 126-page reference material. And when we started, it was around 400 pages. Okay, because we started it as a project leadership program. Then later on, we realized that most of the people they are coming for PMP only. So we removed uh, all the relevant things with respect to PMP from that material, and when then we made it to 126. Okay, so which is uh, and the general feedback we are getting is okay. It is it is very easy to follow, crisp and clear kind of thing. Uh, and uh, one the moment you, so the PM digital guide will come to you as part of the course, and then uh, we are. Uh, we have made 20 around 40 lessons online lessons uh, so you'll get access to this for 365 days which is very high actually you don't need it for 365 days because if you if you are becoming a PMP you will become a PMP in next 35 40 days time otherwise your priorities will change but still but still we are giving it to, to you for 365 days so in case if you because of work pressure you are unable to attempt it uh, that's okay 365 is more than sufficient and these modules comprise of uh, an introductory video and then some reading material which is nothing but uh, see we have cut and pasted it from this 126 page reference material so the relevant uh, video is there which is an introductory video by me uh, and then some material to read, uh, which is a relevant part cut and paste from this document. You can read it. Uh, then uh, so most of the modules will have uh, one more video, which is really explaining the subject. Uh, when I say video, it, it need not be me. Uh, we may be sketching it out or using a sketching tool, or we may be putting a schedule onto a scheduling software and then demonstrating what is a critical path and that kind of stuff or it could be somebody else's video because now if you see uh, the gold rats uh, theory of constraints okay now I'm not explaining it I put a YouTube video by gold rat and gold rat is explaining it but then still still you get so basically what I'm saying is like we are using third-party videos uh, to explain some of the concepts so you will not get fed up uh, seeing my face uh, in all the 45 modules okay so that's one uh, then okay we have uh, one assessment test now PMI is talking about 35 contact hours instructor led training so if you if you just like that do some online video viewing you will not be eligible for the 35 contact hours so it has to be instructor led so periodically we are conducting uh, online tests uh, to see where you are so it doesn't mean that see now if you pay the fees, it doesn't mean that you will get the 35 contact hours certificate. We will ensure that you are completing all the modules and then and that is done through some periodic tests. And we don't really mind even if you take the test uh, is an open book test. Uh, so even the testing is part of learning as far as we are concerned. So, But then you will have to score around 80% on those tests. Uh, then only you'll get the 35 contact or certificate. We don't mind you referring back to textbook and then taking those tests multiple times. Everything is fine. Uh, but then you'll have to ensure that you are scoring at least 80 percentage on those tests, which is very easy. A person who has understood the subject will be able to score. Uh, right. Uh, I didn't get you soft copy of what the PM distill guide you will get yes PM distill guide you will get other things you won't get right the other other things you won't get uh, PM book uh, we are not giving you a PM book because uh, we don't want to give you a pirated version of PM book and then talk about professional ethics and social responsibility No, I will not because if I see that I'm supposed to report to PMI. 
Okay, uh, so uh, you know, I made it pretty serious about it because as a project manager, you are supposed to take care of the intellectual property of yours as well as others. Uh, and uh, see, it's like this. So if you become a PMI member, the membership costs only $129. Okay, so if you go to pmi.org and then and then register yourself at the PMI website, that costs only one twenty nine dollars. And if you are a PMI member, you get a hundred dollar discount on your XM fees. That means if you are a non-member, you will be paying five hundred and something as the XM fees. But if you are a member, you will be paying only four hundred and odd dollars. So you get that hundred dollar discount if you are a member. Then the difference is only twenty nine dollars. For this twenty nine dollars, they give you a licensed version of Pimbok, uh, and they and they, and you get, you get a subscription of the PM Network uh, magazine, and then there's a PMI journal. You get the subscriptions for next one year, and you have access to all other body of knowledge by PMI, like the PMI ACP. Uh, related things. There is a beautiful wisdom center. Uh, so it is valid for money. For $29 you get all these things. One year membership, you get a PIMBOK complimentary copy uh, which is where your name is also written on it so it's a licensed version for you. Uh, and you get access to their wisdom center which has very useful information because I am renewing my membership for the last uh, five years, no, seven years now. Uh, so every year I'm paying them uh, this $129, but then that is not mandatory. Uh, so first year you become a member, second year onwards if you can appreciate it, you continue your membership. Otherwise, uh, it's okay, you can, you can discontinue as well. Yeah, are you, are you with me? Hello. Hello, Pradeep. Uh, you are there. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Okay, somebody else, uh, they got disconnected, uh, so, Yeah, hello. Ah, okay. So that's fine. So I we were talking about we were talking about this uh one twenty nine dollars for the PMI membership and then the discount you get hundred dollars and effectively for twenty nine dollars what are the benefits you get? So instead of running after this pirated version for this twenty nine dollars, it's always better to get uh an original original copy. Okay, and no, uh, you, you need not buy a hard copy. You can, they give you a PDF file, which is a soft copy. Okay, and uh, that will do. And then uh, don't try to buy hard the PIMBOK. Uh, that is humanly impossible. Okay, so the best thing would be uh, this. First, you should understand the subject. And that is the value add we will provide you during the course. And after that, you go back and then refer to uh, Pimbog, then it is easy to understand. Otherwise, otherwise it's a very, very, very dry document. Uh, sorry to say that, but it's very valuable uh, in the sense, uh, see, Pimbog is organized uh, nine knowledge area wise. So first it talks about project integration management, then time management, 
cost, quality, procurement, communication, human resource, risk. Uh, it goes like that. Uh, so it doesn't talk about the interrelationships between these modules. Okay, but that, so it it is a it is a good reference material. Uh, whereas uh, our course is designed uh, in uh, designed like first we talk about initiation, how to initiate a project, who does it, uh, and what are the outputs of initiation. Then we get into uh, planning. Then we talk about the complete planning part of it. Uh, then uh, initiation planning, then execution, monitoring and controlling and closing. So this gives the natural flow of a project. Uh, so that's how our course is organized. Whereas PIMBOK is organized nine knowledge area wise, whereas ours is uh, organized uh, process group wise. Uh, so that way uh, the course will give you the natural flow of a project. And after that when you go back to PIMBOK it's, it's very easy to understand. Yeah. Right. Right. Every one hour, every one hour you are spending on this course will earn you one contact hour. So we have 45 modules. How do you put all? We have 45 modules, and the assumption is that you okay, see by the time you complete these 45 modules, you would have you would have spent uh, uh, more than 50 hours uh, on on this course. Uh, so it is uh, it is all inclusive. You know? It is uh, our clarification doubt clarification sessions the time you're taking for keying in your doubts uh, and the, the weekly sessions we have uh, on the video, everything put together, I'm sure that you would have spent around 40, 45 hours and for that we are giving 35 contact hours. Even if there are some losses, minimum you would have spent 35 hours plus uh, when, we, when you complete the 45 uh, modules. And and there and there is an evaluation also, so it is it it is it is into that forty. It fits into PMI's definition of instructor-led uh, thirty-five contact hours training. Uh, see. If, at the end of it, see, I, I'm giving you a test which is which has around 400 questions. Okay, it's not final; it is available to you from beginning. But and I want to see one score where you have scored more than 80 percentage on it. Right, so you can do it incrementally. You can do it multiple times. Everything is fine. But before me giving you a certificate, I want I want to see that you have scored more than eighty percentage. So if I don't I don't really care if you have noted down the answers for four hundred questions and then again you take the test, it's fine. Because because four hundred questions you take once, uh, it is going to you are going to spend at least eight hours. Right, uh, so so two times you take that is sixteen hours. So there is no question of you getting the thirty-five contact hours without spending thirty-five hours minimum. Okay, so that is a word of caution uh, because uh, uh, personally uh, I am very stringent about it uh, because uh, they, they see there are there may be some other companies and all where you just pay the money you may get the certificate. Uh, but but uh, but here I won't do that because I have a reputation to lose, uh, and personally I believe that uh, you gain more uh, by understanding the concepts and implementing it at your workplace uh, than with just one certification. Uh, and if I'm your boss and if you're if you're a PMP, I'll expect more from you. Then that means you'll have an added responsibility the moment. This title is yours.
And if you don't know the subject properly, even this PMP title will become a burden for you. Okay, so uh, instead of taking shortcuts, the best thing would be understand the subject because in any decent project management interview, or uh, rather profession, if you don't know critical path, they will not take you, that is for sure, because you don't even qualify as a project manager. Right? If you, if you don't know earn value management, uh, we are not talking about advanced project management techniques. We are talking about basic project management techniques. So any decent project management interview, they're going to ask you uh, questions from critical path as well as from earn value management and maybe something about risk management, that's for sure. Uh, and, and if you don't know these things, you don't even qualify as a project manager. And even if you qualify, you'll fail in your profession, that's for sure. So uh, with a PMP, people will expect more from you. So it's better to understand it and then go after that title. Uh, uh, that, is, that is my view and that will, that will definitely give you more value. Uh, yeah, because uh, ultimately you should be able to practice uh, not everything, at least some of it at your workplace. Uh, that will give you more dividends, uh, maybe stakeholder management. Oh, it could be, it's a great thing. Because we, we learn from what is the definition of a stakeholder, blah, blah, you know, how to manage, how to strategize, how to come up with a stakeholder register, prioritize. Let me talk about the business case, you know, investment, return on investment. This knowledge is one part, but then uh, why most of the project managers, they don't talk to senior stakeholders. The reason is because they don't have the vocabulary to do it. Uh, you cannot go to uh, the CEO of your customer and then talk about you know, lack of manpower or this person is not up to the mark and all. There you should always talk about payback period, return on investment, you know, opportunity cost, and th that's what they understand. Uh, so, so if you understand these things, definitely you will get the full value out of uh, this PMP title. Otherwise, it will be one more title uh, which may not give you that kind of a benefit. Definitely, certification has a value because in many places, if you don't, if you are not a PMP, uh, you won't get that job. Uh, uh, but then, if you really want to excel in your work. Uh, then the con understanding of the concept is must. And even to pass the PMP, uh, I've seen enough people mugging up the entire PMBOK and then failing. And sometimes they pass also. Then the effort is too much actually. Yeah, because, because we are talking about 42 processes. And for all these 42 processes, there is a set of inputs, there is a set of tools and techniques, there is a set of outputs. And I've seen some of my students by hearting the whole thing and they've done it also. Personally let me tell you whoever by hearted the whole thing they have failed in the first attempt. And if you ask them what happened uh, they'll say oh, under the exam pressure I could not recollect anything. Maybe that the other guy was understood the subject uh, it he'll pass that is for sure he'll pass. Because even if all the questions he gets is all new set of questions he, which he has never seen in any of the exam dumps, uh, still you, you, you can work on it because your, your foundations are very strong. Uh, so if at all I'm taking some credit uh, while teaching PMP, I think this is, what, this is something that differentiates me from maybe many other trainers. Okay, uh, so fine. and. Uh, so we are talking about the, the takeaways from this course uh, and in case you miss out on some of the, uh, the weekly uh, doubt clarification session and all, uh, you will get access to uh, the recorded versions. And towards the end we will give you the 35 contact hours certificate issued by PMRI and sometimes people ask me things like uh, are you an REP, registered education provider? Uh, uh, because uh, there is a big lie that is floating around in the industry like uh, can only REPs give this 35 contact hours? Answer is no. Any training institute can give this 35 contact hours and we are not a registered education provider. 
uh, but we have created at least 400 plus PMPs and we have trained uh, we have trained uh, more than 4,000 people uh, and uh, out of this 4,000 400 is not a big deal uh, but then only 10 percent is write the exam and of the 10 percent is we have a 98 percentage pass rate others I don't know they pay the fees and after some time they don't write the exam uh, the reasons I don't know okay because uh, reasons could be maybe fear of exam or even if there you are doing all these things for a promotion and even without this you get the promotion <laughs> or project pressures and uh, all those issues uh, so sometimes I tell people that okay now come back when you don't have any project then we can focus on this yeah that means you should lose your job then you come back <laughs> <laughs> Fine. And sometimes that that also happens uh, because yeah. Okay. Now uh, next uh, the question is between uh, sorry. Uh, the choice is now should you go for a classroom training or an online training? Both has its own advantages as well as disadvantage. Uh, uh, we, we I do conduct classroom trainings and online trainings, but then. I love online training uh, because as a participant also see you have more time to chew down on the on the concepts and and the instructors are available to you for a longer time for doubt clarification right so we, we discuss the concept today and then you have at least one week's time to ponder over that and clarify your questions uh, and the instructors are available to you uh, but then the negative aspect is, uh, the, as, as we discussed earlier, the cost of the course is lesser. So maybe the commitment levels also can be lower. Okay, so so that is that is that is another disadvantage. So uh, and you have enough flexibility to attend the training, affordable pricing, experience in qualified instructors with track record of successful training assignments and continuous support even after the class so all these things you get uh, as part of it. Uh, the, the knowledge transfer happens through self-study that means okay you have videos and reference material doubt clarification session with the instructor and practice test. Uh, the most important thing is as we discussed earlier uh, when you go through the material if you have a doubt or after seeing the videos if you have a doubt just post it there you will get a reply within 24 hours okay so you need not wait for the weekly doubt clarification session for it and even after that because something is not clear uh, we can we can always discuss it in the weekly doubt clarification sessions so at least one face to face session we'll have uh, per week uh, so uh, the the message I want to communicate is that you okay, see now everything will not be spoon fed. Uh, you also have a role to play. You will have to read the material. You will have to watch the videos which we are giving, and sometimes you will have to take the tests as well. Uh, and that is sufficient. And so if you ask me, should you refer any other material apart from what what we are giving you? Uh, my answer would be no. Except Pimbok, you need not refer anything else. Uh, Pimbok also you should read, uh, that is for sure, because no document under the sun is a replacement for Pimbok. So you must read Pimbok as well. Okay, now, uh, so when I talk about this, uh, when, I, when I spoke about this certification process, initially people lack visibility. So to make life easier for them, I created a kind of a tentative study plan. Actually, it is a work breakdown structure. Uh, then I did not dare to. I don't want to frighten you, so I just called it as a tentative study plan, which you can customize. Uh, so every week uh, we have uh, we have a doubt clarification session. So the first week, if you see the total effort during the co during the week, you'll have to put in uh, now approximately two 
2 plus 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6 hours of effort you'll have to put in the first week and then approximately 1 hour of doubt clarification session. So 7 hours, around 10 hours per week you'll be spending on this. Uh, so if you're a person uh, who can spend 1 hour during every working day and 3 hours during weekends, uh, this is quite possible. Okay, so this is not a Herculean task, but then uh, the commitment level should be there. And I think uh, if you are if you are in Dubai, maybe yes, problem distractions could be there. But maybe if you are in Saudi Arabia, I think this is a good thing to do. Uh, uh, and uh, again, my request is don't study like a student. Uh, you enjoy it because. Uh, uh, when I when I take classes to some other people from some other countries and all, uh, see they they lie down in a la lazy boy chairs and then they sip some beer and then attend the class. It's okay, absolutely no problem. Uh, so don't study like a student. Uh, the intent should be to understand it from a practitioner's perspective. Uh, you are all. Uh, I presume that project managers or team leads. Uh, so whatever we are learning here, actually I'm envious to you because all these concepts I learned, it took me approximately 15 years to learn. Yeah, and I learned uh, pro, uh, uh, earn value management and all, uh, maybe after making a lot of mistakes in project management. Uh, now everything is given to you on a plateau. Uh, a wealth of knowledge uh, and all all you need to do is you know consume it uh, and you should be and you should be passionate enough to practice it at the workplace only then you become a better project manager because you can see a lot of uh, good project managers who are PMP certified who are not PMP certified uh, you may see even a lot of dumb project managers who are who are PMP certified uh, the the main differentiator is again okay, now they they don't have uh, they don't have the passion to demonstrate all these things uh, because they they become pro they became project manager to get that blackberry and uh, lighter laptop uh, not because you know they had the passion to do it <laughs> okay because uh, yeah because some countries the title manager uh, gives you a lot of uh, you know value in the society. Uh, but then are you ready for it? Do you have the passion and all that takes a second seat? Uh, so maybe uh, uh, if you have, if you're hungry for project management knowledge, this is the right thing for you. Uh, but if it is again to fool around people with a PMP certification, uh, then, then also this is fine. Okay, go after it, no problem. But then, then you get more value uh, by practicing these things uh, uh, than just getting that PMP title. So that way life also becomes much, much easier. Personally, I believe that at the end of the whole thing, if you can go home half an hour early, uh, I, I've done a meaningful job uh, than that big PMP title and all those things. Okay, so fine. Then, uh, yeah, so this is how it is done. So. Uh, we'll be covering all the 42 processes and uh, knowledge part. Don't don't worry uh, because if you're absent, uh, then I I'll also get demotivated. I don't have I'll not fall off. Uh, but your queries and all those things, okay. See, I don't have any issues in answering it any number of times. Not a problem. Uh, uh, so if you don't demotivate me, it'll be great. Uh, you will get the value. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that way, we I'm not guided by uh, exactly the number of hours or some contract regulations and all, uh, because we are we are talking about partnering. We are preaching about partnering with the client and making the whole show successful. Uh, so that way, we are not driven by the contractual obligations. Like even if uh, our interaction. Uh, is going to be 
more than one hour per week, it's okay for me. Uh, absolutely no problem. Yeah, so can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, hello. Yeah, okay. Ah, there was a, I think there was a, the voice break was there. So what I was saying is, okay, now, I don't want to offer you too many things and then uh, not honor it. Uh, maybe I can say very honestly that because okay, whatever is there here is to convince you uh, and this is the minimum thing you get. Uh, uh, so I don't mind spending more time if you have genuine questions. Uh, absolute no no issue. Or if you even after watching the video and all, if you if you are unable to understand the concept, I can I can explain it again on the live. Absolutely no problem. Uh, because uh, a critical path is something which, which you may not understand directly. Uh, I can explain it. Not an issue. Earn value management is again by seeing a video, understanding earn value management could be slightly tough. Maybe I can explain it. Absolutely no problems there. Uh, any other questions? Because uh, uh, that's about uh, uh, that. Okay. Uh, so that is a training plan. Yeah. Right. Uh, so that's why I'm saying if you have a question, the first option is post it as a comment at the bottom of the course material. I'll show that to you one minute. So if you go to uh, this site, pmricampus.com, okay, so uh, here here you get the course PMP online course is here so once you you enroll for the course we give you access here uh, and now the lessons are here uh, so if you take develop schedule because one person from Saudi Arabia is very active he keep asking me very difficult questions uh, and I'm also equally enthusiastic about answering them. So for every module, uh, there's a module objective defined and there's an introductory video. Uh, then some reference material, some reading material, reference material is different. Uh, then again more videos to explain that concept. Uh, then yeah, this is about resource leveling. This is a video by somebody else. Are you there? Uh, okay. This is a video by somebody else, and this is again just a just a diagram by somebody else, uh, which talks about milestone chart. That's fine. This is about resource leveling, and this is uh, a third-party video. Uh, this is by Goldrat. He's talking about critical chain project management. So we are, you can hear it from the hose's mouth. So here, the only value addition I've done is, okay, now this video I digged out, I, I dug out from YouTube, uh, and then I found it as useful, and then I'm just sharing it with you. That is the only value that I'm providing here. Uh, now, somebody has gone through it, and then these are all questions by him and answers to that. 
So if you have a question on that particular module, the first thing you need to do is go through this this discussion and uh, if that gives you the answer you need not ask that but still it is not clear you can again post your question here I'll answer it within eight hours time eight working hours uh, the idea is okay then others also gets benefited right and even after that if it is not clear to you then okay we'll have a separate session for it uh, either we accommodate it in the weekly doubt clarification session or we'll have a separate session for it. Absolutely no problem. Okay, uh, so the first priority is, okay, don't, don't ask for a separate session for it. First priority is you go through this list, comments which is already posted there. Somebody might have discussed about it. Or you post your query, I can answer it. And even after that, if things are not clear, next option is, okay, now you can, in the doubt clarification, weekly doubt clarification session, you can highlight it or we'll have a separate dedicated session as a webinar or something uh, which where these things can be explained exclusively so that's that's fine Uh, I, I now you start yeah maybe you start from one end in the sense you get into this and uh, one minute so back to PM distilled so here you first you download the PMP handbook by PMI USA so that will give you uh, the, the complete explanation of you know, what needs to be done, uh, steps involved in becoming a PMP and all. Then download the PM Essentials Guide. Download the PM Distill. Uh, PM Essentials Guide is an abridged version of a quick reference kind of thing, 16 pages. Then a PM Distill Guide, that is 126 pages, I think. Uh, then there is a professional responsibility checklist just go through it because uh, if you any of your answers if it is against if it is in contradiction to the professional responsibility of a project manager then it will be a wrong answer okay uh, because a PMP exam is more it's not like uh, for every question you get four options and most of the options will be a right answer so it's all about picking up the most correct answer from a set of almost correct answers so that calls for a lot of practice and that is the right thing also because uh, the, the, there was one question when I wrote this exam uh, like uh, one of your team members is coming to office very late uh, off late is coming to office very late now as a boss what will you do and the options are just ignore it uh, give it as a feedback uh, give it as a feedback in the next performance appraisal uh, or have a one-to-one -one discussion with him to understand why he's coming late uh, or escalate to senior management uh, everything is right <laughs> now which one is the most correct most correct thing uh, the most correct thing is okay uh, first of all I should understand why he's coming late right and this happened to me in real life also one of my team members was he was absconding for four days no leave application nothing and after four days he came back to office so I just started, you know, I, got, I was annoyed because he was a senior team member. So I just started uh, questioning him like, boss, how can you do like this? Because you are a senior team member and you're supposed to be a role model for others. And all. So he listened to me for a while. Then he said, maybe my father died. Uh, that was uh, the shocking thing for me because I made a mistake there because I should have inquired first, what is the reason for this? Uh, than assuming things uh, uh, yeah so so in real life also these things are these things are applicable it is not just for the exam uh, a customer has, has complained something to you what are supposed what are you supposed to do call for a meeting escalate to senior management make a customer visit or or sit and analyze the problem you you first alone in your in your cabin 
Oh, that is the right thing because if there is an issue, first of all, you should sit and analyze it. Then only you can decide what is the next action item. So be, instead of that, straight away you call for a meeting, that's the wrong thing to do. So uh, people may say that, okay, this is pimbokism and it's theory and all, uh, but then in real life, these are the right things as well. Okay, so that way it, it gives you a lot of value. So No, I didn't get to your question. Practice, yeah, see so if, you, if you come back here, uh, so, uh, sorry, one minute, I'll show you. Uh, so here, so here there is an awareness test and then there is simulation test. Simulation test has uh, around 400 questions. Awareness test, as of today, I think it has around 75 questions, which you can take straight away. And for the simulation test, you need a separate user ID and password, which I'll give you uh, once, once you start with the course. Okay, so uh, yeah, there's some problem with the connection here. I think I ran out of uh, the GBs or so. So now I think it's it's okay. I I gave them hundred rupees, so it's okay. Back. Uh, so what happened now? So PM distilled. Uh, so here, uh, this awareness test, if you take. Uh, I think so this test has a separate login uh, so I'll give you that login details. So this test anybody can, if you just want to check where, where you stand as of today, you can take this test. I think uh, this is still, I keep adding some questions every week. So I think this has, it is not module wise, it is not module wise. Uh, right now it is not there. I'll have to make it. See, don't complicate it, okay? Uh, you take this test, this is the material available as of today. I take it as an input uh, and if I have to create, uh, for some modules it is there, it is not there for all modules. The module end test is there for some modules. Yeah, so for some modules it is there, for it's not there for all modules. Yeah, so what, how should I take that because uh, 
you are giving me a suggestion i to i took it right so yeah so what if you are looking for an assurance i don't want to give it right so uh Ah, so there is a master test available uh, and uh, knowledge area wise tests are also there uh, but then a module wise test uh, partially it is there fully it is not there uh, I'm, I'm ah, so I'm working on it because here the modules is there is no one-to-one -one mapping between the modules and the knowledge areas because the modules are organized differently and the knowledge areas are different. Okay, so uh, I'm adding, uh, the, the, the suggestion is good, so I'm adding, uh, I've started adding uh, questions at the end of every module, uh, but then I don't know when I'll complete it. See, all I'm doing is, okay, from the master test, I'm cutting and pasting to the module level. Okay, so that's what I'm I'm doing now. So uh, I I've not given myself a target for it. So because of that, uh, I'm unable to give you any date for it. Okay, so uh, I think uh, so. Th so th this is it. So uh, I showed you a module. I showed you the study plan, uh, and if you can go through it. I think this is more than sufficient and another suggestion would be you should not listen to anybody else uh, because there could be a lot of people uh, who can misguide you. Uh, they'll ask you. PMP? Ah, okay. So, uh, what was the question uh, when you spoke to your friends? Uh, they, what was that? Sorry. Ah, so take it. If you want to go for jogging, get up from the bed and go jog, that's all. Okay, don't ask too many people, you know, what will happen if I jog or are you joining me? <laughs> so, you act, sometimes you, you may be limiting uh, because other, I don't know. So, uh, it's, it's up to you because some, very often people ask me questions from other books and all. Right, uh, so then generally my answer is go and ask that author, why are you asking me? Okay, so uh, there are enough books available, Philips is there, Rita Mulak is there, blah blah, uh, tons of books are available. It's not that uh, this we are not aware of these books, we will give you only 126 pages. Okay, uh, and uh, sometimes we consider ourselves superior to these people also. Uh, because uh, our track record is like that. Uh, yeah, so, so, uh, see, you, 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 see, after the, after the, after becoming a PMP, you also must say that it is difficult. You know? And you should make others' life difficult. Otherwise, you will not get value. You know. See, all I'm saying is, okay, it all depends on the trainer. Okay, so I attended a five-day training, uh, and it was miserable for me, you know, sitting in a training program for five days. And as a trainer, also, I cannot, I cannot even think of, you know seeing the same face for five days as a trainer, the same audience I should see. Uh, that's why first we made it as a three-day program. We are the first company in India who made it as a three-day program. And across the globe there was one other company was doing it in three days, that was Velocity, Velocity from US. 
Now everybody started doing it as a three-day course. So we have made it our made our course a two-day course now. Okay, and I want to make it one-day course, and then I want to say there is no classroom training after that. Okay, so th this is best actually. You literally you interact with the participants. They're also okay with it. Perfect. Uh, so see now we have delivered it 400 plus times. So this is something uh, which got perfected uh, over a period of seven years after delivering it 400 times. So uh, in the classroom and after that only we started the online. Uh, so most of the course material and the slides, uh, all those things I, it's by heart for me because I've gone through it at least 400 times. After after 20 years of practice. Okay, so uh, so maybe that confidence we have, uh, and that's why we are confidently saying, uh, don't listen to others. Right, uh, because our objective is uh, to make it as simple as possible for you, and as far as possible, don't study like a student. Go through the material while watching the TV or while sitting in the car or go through the material and whenever you get bored with your work watch the videos and do some test as a as a as a monotony breaker you know breaking stuff in the office once in a while you do a test you know? now after four hours of regular work you do a test or after four hour, three hours of regular work you watch a video uh, that's it. That's how you learn. Uh, it's not like you sit like a student and then group discussions and then you may be making your life. There should be some competition among you. you know, who will become the, who will clear it first kind of thing. Uh, if you are all norming to the same norm and same pace, that competition will go away. Yeah, so uh, so that's why I'm saying I I I'm slightly unconventional, uh, but then this is my views. Uh, I don't even believe in teamwork. Yeah, I believe in teamwork of the individually competent. First of all, you should first of all you should be individually competent. Then we can talk about teamwork. Other, otherwise, a lot of people escape by talking only about you know, strategy, leadership, and all those things. And if you give them some work to do, they don't know how to do it. Yeah. So, uh, so here it's fine. You, you have a PIMBOK, you have uh, some course material, and for the exam, you will get uh, 200 questions from related to project management. Out of that 165, if you get correct, you are a PMP. You can make 45 mistakes and there are no uh, negative marking. And when you get a question, you will not know from which module it is coming. You will not know to, from which knowledge area it is coming. 200 questions will come to you in 240 minutes. And your only challenge is uh, getting 165 right, which is 60 percentage of it. And it is, yeah, because 240 minutes, 240 minutes, 200 questions. It's a four hours test. And let me tell you very clearly, it is, it is as difficult as one paper of your graduation. And some people make it as difficult as your graduation. That is my, that is where my disagreement is. Yeah, it may be as tough as one paper of your graduation and don't allow others to make it as difficult as your uh, graduation. Yeah, so that much due diligence you should give. Uh, don't become overconfident. Uh, how much effort you will give for to pass your strength of material or operational research paper, one paper, then that much effort you should put in here. But then it is not as tough as your graduation and that's how you should be psyching yourself. Like after all it's a test, I cannot fail.
right? So that should be the right attitude because after all it's a test. You cannot fail. How many tests you wrote and passed? Yeah, because, uh, because, because while taking the test, there will be moments of doubt. So recently now after I, I, I'm, I'm, an, I'm a trainer and also it's all fine. Recently I went and wrote that PMI ACP exam. I took that test uh, three months back. And I'm a certified Scrum Master, I'm a certified Scrum Practitioner and I've done implemented Agile and consulting assignments I had for at least 20 teams which include uh, iSoft in Chennai, you may be aware of it. Uh, uh, and I, and I, I've delivered this training at Intel, I've delivered at Oracle, I've delivered at GE Medical Systems. And after that when I wrote the exam, uh, it's a three hour exam, when I completed one and a half hours I thought, I felt as if I'm going to fail. Uh, but then at that time you should psych yourself you know if you if if you if your pressure increases then you fail all you have to do is you you should psych yourself and say after all it's a test how can you fail that's all right because after all you are coming with your graduation and then minimum four years experience you have some due diligence you give and then then you clear it uh, that's why I'm saying don't listen to every everybody's opinion. They, they it'll only confuse you. It will only confuse you. Uh, and yeah, sometimes yeah, because the, I'm because I'm recording this video, uh, I'm censoring myself. Uh, yep. Yeah, so, uh, so that's it. Uh, so, if you have any other specific questions, I can answer. Uh, yeah. And as a gentleman's agreement, I don't want you to reveal any of the questions and tests to those people who have not paid the fees. The 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 moment the moment I get if I get that feeling I'll just I'll just uh, inactivate your account uh, because uh, that's why because a lot of effort has gone into it uh, so that's why I don't I I, I believe in uh, the intellectual property rights of others because it is not easy to build something uh, it is very it is very easy. Uh, it is very easy to copy. Uh, so, if at all uh, you're copying or cheating somebody and all, it should be at least for thousand crores, not for hundred dollars. It's okay because per day, if you get one crore, I'm okay with it. <laughs> if the if the income is one crore per day, there is a business case. Uh, so if you, uh, so it's it's just account transfer, hundred and ten dollars. If you want to buy a Rita Mulaki book which is not pirated, you'll have to give one twenty five dollars. No, no, no. Rita Mulaki's book is there in the market. PMP preparation, and she's no more now. No, no, I, I don't know. See, I'm. You're asking a wrong person because I consider her with due respect to her. She's no more. Uh, she is my competitor, so no point in asking me my opinion about her books, right? Uh, so. See, the, the philosophy, I will never say that that book is bad. I'll never say that the book is bad, but then only problem with that book is, okay, the day you become a PMP, you should throw it out. 
so uh, so if you want if you yeah if you want a reference book for pmp uh, for project management uh, you should refer to harold kersner's book if you if you are looking for a reference book my material uh, all the modules here and when you start scoring around 80 percentage on the practice test that is the time when you can go for the final exam Pimbok uh, you should read Pimbok you cannot you cannot skip Pimbok my course material Pimbok and the online modules here and the practice test we give you and before you write the exam, you should start scoring consistently 70, 80, 90 percentage on the same practice test. That is the time when you should go for the final exam. Most welcome. Yeah. yeah, thank you. So thanks for your time. Yeah, tell me, yes. Uh, so, in the, if you see uh, here, uh, so here there are two tests. One is awareness test and one is simulation test. One is awareness test and the other one is simulation test. Ah, okay. So I saw you. You have, ah, you have already registered there. I saw your name under class tube. Uh, so now what I do is okay, I'll have to send you uh, an, uh, a, a, a code actually. So you can subscribe to this course either by paying $100 or by giving a code, a voucher code. So I'll email you that voucher code maybe tomorrow. So don't pay another $100. You have to just give, you have to just give that, uh, that uh, voucher code. That's all. No need, no need, no need. Uh, because this is also this was this is also our site, uh, but now we are not adding more content here. Now most of the contents are put in uh, PMRI campus only. Uh, but the tests are some of the tests are still. Uh, so I'll send you the 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 voucher code tomorrow. Yep. So. Yeah, it's going to be 10 o'clock, so one hour up. Uh, and uh, recommend this course to as many people as possible. Sorry, voice is breaking. I'm unable to hear you. The voice is breaking. Yeah, one at a time, one at a time. Yeah. Okay, Nias, uh, go ahead. Ah, so I've not, I've not, I, it will be there, but then I've not decided when. Uh, so maybe we'll either we do it tomorrow, day after day after tomorrow, most probably. Yeah, so I'll 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 let you know the exact exact time, and you'll get an email. Niels, you are one of the most active students. Right. 
क्या वी कैन या एंड देर वॉज वन मोर पर्सन आई डोंट नो वेर ही इज सो now because it was like this uh with you, with manigandan and uh, zahira uh with you to uh, you to azizan uh, one more person was supposed to, uh one more person was supposed to join Ah, uh, so you, then he must he he must attend this course. Yeah, because poor guy, eh? Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. So uh, because if we can start together, it will be wonderful. yeah please because then we have company now near yeah nears also can yeah it's okay we'll schedule it accordingly the weekly sessions we'll schedule uh, together because others also may be there so it's fine okay great you yeah, most welcome yeah thank you thanks bye yeah bye